Hi, I'm Trudy Brookman of Trudy Brookman Attorneys in Cape Town. Um, we specialize in consumer law and I want to discuss just briefly a really interesting aspect um, of consumer law. What happens when the supplier makes, makes a mistake and really completely misstates the price? And let's say that that makes the product like 10 times cheaper than it would normally be. Um, you give an example, um, you go onto the app of your cell phone service provider and uh, you are looking to buy, uh, well, you think that you can't afford an iPhone um, at this stage of your life uh, on contract, but there's an offer where the iPhone is a few hundred rand per month, not even a thousand rand. Um, and you um, and and you click on the offer, and the the confirmation comes through. And before you know it, um, you've you've contracted at this bargain basement price. Um, then you get a, a message from the cell phone service provider saying, "We forgot to, to add in the th the one thousand that should be before the rest of the of the uh, digits in the offer." And um, it was just a, a, an error on our side, an administrative error. Uh, sorry about that. You have to pay the full price. What is the legal position? Do you have to pay the full price? So interestingly, the answer is it depends on whether um, your transaction was concluded online or not online. So um, why do I say that? The act that we usually rely on, the Consumer Protection Act, um, says very clearly that if a supplier makes a mistake with regard to the um, uh, to the price that they've indicated on a product and it's a self-evident uh, mistake, then they can simply correct that error, and they um, and then we can go go further and um, and the, the correct price will apply. Um, the consumer isn't entitled to rely on an erroneous price if it's self-evidently uh, the wrong price for the product. So that's a great relief for supermarkets if there's, you know, something wrong on the on the pricing, for example, on the um, uh, on the on the shelf. Um, however, the Consumer Protection Act doesn't apply to online transactions, and there we have to rely on the Electronic Communications and Transactions Act, and this act says something very different. In an effort to protect consumers from um, misleading online, online marketing or, or um, online transactions where you don't have the full picture and you sign up for a thing and it turns out to be more, much more expensive because there were all kinds of T's and C's that, that weren't disclosed to you. Um, the Electronic Communications and Transactions Act, we call it ECTA for obvious reasons, otherwise you stumble over your words like I've done. It says that the supplier must disclose the full price of the goods or services, including transport costs, taxes, and any other fees or costs. And as a result, um, they are a, an a online service provider is bound by the price that they have disclosed online, even if it is self-evidently wrong. There's a digit missing. Um, it's 10 times less than it should be, etc., etc. So for those of you who love online shopping, um, for those of you who supply goods online, this is a big um, warning light where with this uh, Consumer Protection Act where you're selling face-to-face -face or the payment is happening face-to-face um, -face rather than, than by some type of electronic uh, transaction like an uh, EFT, um, or a, um, or a debit order, there you can correct the price and uh, consumers need to be quite aware. <laughs> you need to check the price at the till, for example. Um, where it's online, suppliers need to be super careful in terms of what their advertising says, what their website reflects as a price, any offers that they send on in, in an electronic medium to consumers. Um, if the price is wrong, your you're going to have to deliver um, at the wrong price, um, even if it uh, really is a financial disaster for you. So there we go. Um, I hope this has been useful. Please do feel free to contact us if you have any um, issues around incorrect prices or prices that were told 
you were communicated to afterwards as being incorrect, um, and we can assist further.